welcome back, everybody. Thank you for sticking around. We're talking about at least this first, uh, these next few minutes, talking about the uh, the Panama Papers. It's all over the news. Um, this uh, this Panamanian law firm, the fourth largest international law firm in the world, Mossack Fonseca, had a data breach and lost about about eleven and a half million documents, um, implicating a bunch of foreign leaders. Thankfully, nobody really in the U.S. Um, David Cameron, uh, his name popped up because of some trust that his dad ha- established with this law firm. And I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna establish a trust, apparently, this law firm were they were spe- they are specialists in international finance and setting up uh, shell companies and different things. Now, in my line of work, going after folks that uh, that owe other people money or or um, trying to get recovery for different other uh, uh, corporate uh, civil litigants. We hate shell companies like LLCs and things that are, pop up things that, uh, that are basically completely empty of you're not, they're not building anything. They're not doing anything. They're not even making money for people. They're just there to hide assets. We hate that kind of stuff, but it's completely legal to do. And so a lot of this stuff is more the perception of look at what these rich people are doing and I think it's not so much that it's illegal, but it, it seems it smacks of just some kind of, of tastelessness and like, and even more than that, some Im- immorality of how, uh, the, you know, us working folks don't have access to this kind of, these kind of strat- uh, strategies with respect to our money as it relates back to, uh, Clinton. And I think this could be, it's, it's not being really reported widely, the only thing, the only people that are really jumping up and down about uh, this Podesta thing, and for the folks that aren't following this, a uh, quick side note here. The reason that the Podesta group is tied to the Clintons, aside from being a bundler and a fundraiser for them, is that John Podesta, co-founder with his brother Tony of the Podesta group, which is a lobbying firm, does public relations, does communication strategies, all this Washington speak for, if you've got a problem, we will try and make it look better for you. Lots of people engage companies like that. Um, it's not, it's apolitical for the most part, but these John Podesta was Bill Clinton's former chief of staff when he was in the white house. Tony is his brother. Tony is the current CEO. John is not, a, a, he's not, he's a co-founder of the group, but right now because he's running uh, Hillary's campaign, I believe he's a, he, the chief uh, campaign manager at this point. He is not affiliated with the company at all. Um, but because their name popped up with a company that's linked to these papers, now the right, the far wacky right wing media is jumping up and down about this. But until you start seeing it in Fox News, I don't think I have too much to worry about. But here's the problem that I see for Clinton. As far as people taking it seriously, here's the problem I see for uh, for Secretary Clinton. <sighs> whether you whether you think it's right or wrong, whenever money and scandal pop up, Clinton's name pops up, you know, coming. just like just like uh, a noun and a verb in 9-11 means Rudy Giuliani. The right wing has done such a great job of smearing Hillary Clinton that every time that I when I first heard and this is a problem for her, I think me a diehard Hillary Clinton fan. When I heard Panama Papers leak tax evasion, financial scandal, I thought, oh, crap. Yeah, is Hillary involved? <laughs> not because I believed yeah. that she would be, but because that was that I knew that was going to be the narrative. And then she was going to have to spend the next week fight, you know, tamping this down. Where have we gotten when someone's reputation? And like I said, whether it's deserved or not has been so tarnished by repeated and relentless attack that she has to now it's like if she were to be blamed for some, uh, um, heist, some bank heist in Australia because the guys uh, they wore a Hillary Clinton mask. That's the tenuousness of this link. It's, I mean, comment yeah, on that. I, w- I will agree with you there. I, I disagree that Hillary has not brought a lot of this onto herself. I mean, let, let's face I'm, it. I didn't make that point. No, but, but that's and, and I think you would agree that she, she does bring a lot of it onto herself. We've talked about that before on, on other shows about how, you know, she's not really reachable. She really is kind of dodges the media for you know a lot of good reasons um i agree with you 100 percent that there's really nothing there um like we were talking about in the break it would be like maddie would know somebody Maddie would have a cousin that knew a guy who knew another guy in florida who you know stole a bunch of cards right yep and somehow because maddie works for us 
that you and I are implicated in that crime in Florida, even though that's the distance, that's the degree. This isn't like six degrees of Kevin Bacon where there is a link. This is six degrees of, of conspiracy theory that doesn't hold any water. Uh, what I found interesting, though, mm-hmm. is the New York Times, who has a history of supporting kill, uh, Hillary, sorry, Hillary against Bernie Sanders, <laughs> has come out and said, well, hold on. I think they have some explaining to do. Even though we don't really think anything's up, this really looks bad. And then, of course, Salon really takes a jab at her. And I'm sitting here going, well, hold on. One, they didn't do anything illegal. Two, they did what the laws allow them to do. And three, if there was a way to link her to something shady, I would try to do it. She's linked to sh- enough shady deals that really do have a link that this is really a, a tempest in a teapot. Um, I, I really think that, I mean, it will be a mistake because I've heard from some little birdies that, that are with Trump and with Cruz. Oh, this is what, one of the things we can bring up during the campaign. Do not bring this up during the campaign. You will look like a moron and you don't have any real proof part of the problem though is um you hit it on the head you have the wealthy elite who can utilize these tax cheats basically that mm-hmm. they're not really cheating but they're cheats as far as a gamer is concerned in order to be able to hide and shelter their wealth in order to be able to avoid taxes the problem is the regular folk can do it too we just don't have access to a multi-million dollar legal well and that's and that's the thing i mean that that's kind of a the, that's been the drumbeat of uh, of populist economic anger for decades and probably even centuries. You know, in the in the fight to equalize the shares of labor and capital in the market, when you have folks that have access, because the 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 wealthy will always the wealthy will always be able to control enough capital to have access to the things that will help them grow more capital. Yes, people absolutely. people whose only uh, contribution to the marketplace is their labor will never have that kind of access based solely on labor alone. It's it's not worth the same. It's not valued the same. And so uh, this is this is this is the the sort of the dark misty um, uh, uh, area of the like you said the financial elite, but also a lot of power players. And what's you know what. It was a relief, it, wasn't it, to not have a single U.S. politician, I mean, in, involved was. in any of this stuff? Because I, I was expecting that. Even if, even when I was expecting, but knowing that it wasn't going to happen, the the Hillary Clinton thing, I was expecting, like at least, you know, to have to talk about George Soros for the next three oh, weeks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, the 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 thing is, is the guy in Iceland stepped down because they they hate bankers and they hate people that do that well stuff. he was he was actually worse about it because he was the he campaigned on right, all these up. evil bankers and and all this stuff i'd forgotten that yeah and then david cameron they were coming after david cameron and today he came right back after him he just said well listen this is a fund a trust set up by my dad it's perfectly legal i do benefit from it because my dad left me money and this is how i can access it and i'm not going to apologize for that and but for the most part it's not even an embarrassment to anybody so we're going to be back right after this break. It was a vicious, nasty delegate fight in Iowa that left one of the contenders bleeding in a heap on the ground. Stay tuned. We'll be back right after this break. We couldn't do what we do without you.